Hey there, YouTube world. Matt Schwartz, the Welding Geek here. On this episode of the Welding Geek, I'm gonna make this. Right here. This cool cantina-inspired light-up table, just for some fun. If you wanna see me make this, and you could probably make something like it too, stay tuned to the video. On the first note, you might be wondering what the heck is going on all oh, with all this fun stuff, right? This is our huge detention center prop for Star Wars Indiana. Um, Start at my house and what I'm trying to do is be able to reconfigure it into a cantina scene for when we go to cons for not only having maybe a detention center, but we can also modify it to be a cool hangout cantina scene at a convention where people like you can come and take pictures within the cantina and just have a lot of fun. So I've started to make some of the props for this. Um, and so that's why I'm gonna show you how I'm making these, these fun little cantina tables. So that's what this video is about, this cantina funness and making this table. So let's get rolling. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here is cut out my circles. And how I'm gonna get my circles um, nice and round um, is I'm gonna make you want to make yourself a compass. Now I do this out of a two by four. You can probably do it out of any board. Um, and what you're going to do is drill a hole on one end here. I have a cut off bolt. You can just use a regular bolt, a long bolt that will slide in there as your pivot point. And then you're going to measure over from the center of here to another hole. And I'm actually going to cut this one. I'll have to let you know, but it's the size of a pencil and a pencil is going to go through that hole and this will act as your your uh, your compass here. Um, as you can notice I've got a couple other holes and those will come into play here um, to do this, the smaller circles and the, the top part of the table, the, the plastic part. Um, but I'm going to use this hole which is at 20 inches because I'm making a 40 inch table. Um, so you measure over from your center line here over 20 inches, uh, mark your center here, drill the hole and my pencil will slide right through that. So I'm going to mark out my three-quarter uh, particle board over here, um, get to where my quarter inch hole is going to be, and then I'll make my line all the way across it, and then I'll cut, get it cut out. So I'm going to get rolling on that. All right, now I'm gonna use my Milwaukee jigsaw here to cut out my first circle. Um, you can use really anything to cut this out. Jigsaw is gonna work best, um, just as long as you get a nice round circle. We'll do that. All right. Got one circle down, two more to go. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is get my 14 inch circles cut out. I can get one out of the excess off of this uh, sheet I just cut and then I'll have to get uh, others off of a, a different section. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, now that I have my three circles cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out where my two by fours are gonna hit on my cross hatch here, and get a couple uh, pilot holes drilled in there. Um, and then I will get my two by fours cut out, and we'll get assembling the base. Let's get started on that. All right, I went ahead and got my two by fours cut off of camera. Um, I just cut them to 38 inches, just a regular two by four. Try to get straight ones to make this easier on yourself. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the base um, wood parts assembled. 
I'm gonna be using uh, wood glue, Gorilla wood glue, just so that the joints don't get a wobbly um, after a little bit of use. Got our base together, ish. At least the wood, the structure. Show you how you mount the top on here next. All right, to mount the top on, I'm gonna use a four inch, quarter 20 carriage bolt, a quarter 20 nut, quarter 20 wing nut, and two flat washers. Then, you want to take a 7 16 drill bit on a drill and we're going to in the top section on the bottom the top the bottom side of the top we want to make enough room for a nut you don't want to drill this 7 16 drill bit all the way through just about into the tabletop about a quarter of an inch because this nut is going to be holding this carriage bolt in place underneath here. This will hopefully make sense when I get it all put together on how this goes. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so on the bottom side of the table, we're gonna try to make enough room for this nut so it'll sit down flat against this surface here. Now when doing that, be careful because the drill bit does want to grab and pull through. So you just kind of let it grab and then pull out a little bit. Hopefully you don't plunge it all the way through. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is plug out a chunk of uh, two by four. Now you don't have to do this. You can just take a two by four and plunge a quarter inch hole through it, but it's gonna be a little um, a support that goes on this stud help support the center of the table. So I'm going to do that before I put the wing nut and washer on there. All right, for this center support, I'm using a two and a quarter inch hole saw. Like I said, you don't need to do this, um, but I just want a nice round plug for my center. So I'm going to, and I have the hole saw, so I'm gonna use it. Um, technically, you could start just by plunging this thing through there, but if you do a pilot hole first, and cut in about a half inch on one side and flip it over and go through the rest of the way, you won't have a bunch of wood blowouts when it goes all the way through. And be careful when you're doing this because when it goes through it, you can smash your fingers on a two by four. I've done it, it sucks, don't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, I got my little support plug here. wood structure done now time to make it fancy all right the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and paint this top white um, so when the, we put the lights in there it'll have a more of a reflective nature instead of just the brown so I'm gonna paint this top white before we go any further just because it makes life easier to not have to paint it afterwards so let's do that real quick all right Sorry about the lighting in here, it's not that great, but we're just dealing with it. Next up, I've got some four inch um, drain pipe, solid, corrugated or whatever it's called. There is a green line on it, okay? At least on this stuff that I bought. And I'm gonna use that as my cut line. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight this thing. I'm gonna use my, my uh, jigsaw and cut that line to cut it in half. I don't know the exact length for around the table, but uh, hoping this is too long and then I'll cut it to fit as I screw it to the tabletop. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight this. Get it cut in, not in, directly in half, just down the green line so we can see cup it over the, the tabletop.
Got it cut. Get attached to the table next. All right, I'm gonna make an attempt to put this tube on my freshly painted tabletop. It's a little wet yet, but it'll be all right. I made this little tool to set the top of the ribs, or actually the little valleys, um, to make sure that the table is the same level all the way around, otherwise the top um, plastic piece will sit all cattywampus and we don't want that. And I'm just gonna attach with these one inch sheetrock screws. You do not wanna drill these all the way in tight, otherwise they're just gonna push through this tubing um, just enough to hold them into place. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do right now. Tops on. Very cool. Looking good so far. All right, now we have our clear plastic sheet. It's not clear, clear. Um, it's a double wall. I'll try to link all this stuff in the description. Um, I'm going to do the same exact thing I did with the uh, particle board um, with the compass. Just get a line scribe around it and get it cut out. Um, this piece is 38 or 33 and a half inches. This is what this stuff is, it's like for showers and stuff. All right, I'm gonna attach this thing on here. In that center hole, center post, center everything. You got your washer and your wing nut. There's a plastic layer on both sides, so don't worry about the white stripe. But boom. All right, what I'm gonna do next here is I got some seven inch heater hose that I'm gonna use to wrap the base. Um, you're gonna wanna wear gloves when you do this. This stuff will cut the crap out of you real quick. Um, I'm gonna use a staple gun. At least I'm gonna try to use a staple gun to attach, to attach it on that other one. I use screws. I wanna see if the staples are gonna work. So does this, does, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna go to my screw gun and screws, but I'm gonna try staples, see if it can be a little more cleaner. Um, so you're gonna wanna start on, you, you're trying to get these seams on the center line of one of your two by fours, so you can wrap it around to the other side and get it stuck in place. And then we'll put the other side on. Um, we'll have to trim the excess off here. So I'm gonna work on doing that here. You want to start on the bottom side and make sure that your steel is shimmed up slightly because you don't want the steel hitting the ground and unleveling your table. Um, this can be kind of tricky, so it'll take me a, a few here.
All right, so I got my tin on. Um, it was a pain in the butt. <laughs> Staples didn't work, but I got it, and the bottom wasn't quite even. It kind of came up at a weird angle, but it's fine. I've got uh, four screws, or three screws, on each, three on the top, three on the bottom, on each side, so six total, about. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this black tape. It's like black gaffer's tape or duct tape. And I'm gonna trim out around the top and the bottom just to keep people from cutting their fingers on the metal and just to trim out the top and bottom so it looks nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for here real quickly. All right, that's done. That was a little, little bit of a pain in the butt there on the bottom. Um, kind of got dinged up a little bit. But, oh well, it's a cantina table. Not supposed to be perfect. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna put a hole in the tabletop in the bottom for the wiring. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out. Um, get the top put on there. And uh, yeah, then we'll figure out the lights. We'll do that next. All right, so I have this little piece of tin this is out of an oven that I just recently took apart. Um, I'm gonna add this on here like, like so. Why? It says agreeably. Add something extra. Makes it look like it's doing something. It's not just a round pillar. And that will be the, the edge you see. So we'll just add something extra. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. All right, something a little extra and measured, just kind of threw it on there just for fun. All right, Let's do that top next. All right, for this I'm gonna use my hole saw, the two and a quarter inch hole saw that I have. And this is just a hole off the tabletop for the wiring. Before I get the tabletop over here, I'm gonna take this, some tape measure, I drop the center here over to about where the center is here, just so I'm not drilling it over top here or too far out. I want it to go right down alongside here. So this is about, it needs to be about eight and a quarter inches. So measure on off the center, center hole on the tabletop, and put my hole at eight and a quarter, and that should line right up. So I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna put my hole in. Like I said, I'm gonna measure the eight and a quarter back. Uh, I want to put this hole in line of the overlap of this tube because I want the overlap to be towards the back and I want the wiring to be on the back of the table so when we put it in place you won't be able to see it. So my, my overlap is right here, my back seam is right here, I mean this will turn on it but you want to make sure your hole is pointed at least towards this double overlap. I'm going to mark it at eight and a quarter on my table here. And cut into my base, hit it just perfectly so now I can take that wire and drop it right down that little channel that I'll show you that I left on the back here. And that should make it look real nice. So I'm gonna knock the dust out of here and then probably try to figure this wiring out next. All right, so this is what I bought for my LEDs. It's a Minger 16 foot LEDs. And how I'm gonna do this comes in a roll like this, with the wiring. So this wiring is gonna drop down through the hole I just drilled. Like so. And there's a little channel here left by, I'm just gonna take that into place, like down to here. Um, I've got some steel banding, meant for banding stuff together, that I'm just gonna stick the LEDs to because I can't. The LEDs won't go around in a radius, so I'm gonna stick them along the top side of this so I can just set the ring of LEDs onto my table like so, and hopefully it will light up and look cool. 
So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do right now. I haven't done it yet. I don't know if it'll work or not. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, I got those little stuck to my ring. I'm gonna go get my power, get it plugged in. We'll see if it works. Let's turn this bad boy on here. Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? Put the LEDs all the way around the outside, hoping that it kind of make the inside not so bright. This thing also has dimmer on it which is pretty cool off on but <sighs> it's pretty cool I really like that a lot what does it look like on the camera here anyway, you guys think it's pretty cool huh last thing I gotta do is tape in place the wire on the back and I'll go ahead and get set up and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that here. But um, yeah, let's get that done. All right, got my plug here and my black tape and I'm just gonna go ahead and there's a channel along here. I'm just gonna tape this into place along that channel. Got my cable taped down like that. Go ahead and put the top on. I'll show you how this all goes together now. Pull my cord up through that hole. Plug it into the controller. Tap on. I'll flip this around here. To the back, so all our controllers, all our empty stuff is on the back side. Go ahead and plug that in. Power. lid on. Washer and nut. Grab your hand underneath here if you needed to. to. Mess with the dimming if you need to. The one last thing we need to do is put our little cup thing on the top, which is just an extra thing to cover this little nut up. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to use there. Alright, the little centerpiece here. I'm still trying to find the best thing to do this, but right now I just have a Ziploc cup and I sanded the edge to make it look smoked. And there's just a, a quarter inch hole that I drilled, uh, drilled in the, the bottom. excited about that um, yeah if you guys enjoyed that video 
Hope you look forward to seeing how my cantina scene is going to pan out in the end. Um, I don't know how many more. We've got another table to build. I, I doubt it because it's going to be kind of like this, but just shorter um, for like a booth. Uh, but I plan on doing some flags and other stuff and anything I think would be cool to get on video, I'll get it on video to share with you guys. So, if you want to see more fun stuff like this, more fun builds, randomness, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, like the videos, do all that fun stuff if you don't mind. I also got my Patreon account um, if you want to help support my channel more than what the, the ad revenue is doing so I can build cooler stuff. Um, and yeah. I'll try to put link the Patreon. I'll try to get a, a materialist if you're interested in building some something, something like this yourself. It really wasn't all that hard. Um, you could probably do it with some simple tools. Um, it's a fun little card table, if not, nothing less. Or you can make it bigger, smaller to play your D and D or whatever you want to play. It'd be cool to have a, a underneath lit thing for um, the Star Wars. Um, uh, what's the Anyway, yeah, play your Star Wars games on there too. With the ships, I'm blanking on it because I'm camera. I'm losing 50% of my knowledge in my head. Anyway, um, yeah, fun little table. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Matt Schwartz. I'm the welding geek. No welding here, but hey, I'm still a geek, right? Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.